But Jerry, we, we got there in the end, but goodness me, Hartley Wintley made you fight all the way, didn't they? Proper FA Cup because I wouldn't it? it really was. Listen, we knew coming here how difficult they make it. They're very, very good at what they do. Um, loads and loads of credit to their coaching staff, loads of credit to the football club, what a lovely little club they've got. Credit to their players. I thought just in the end, our fitness probably to told in the end, we, um, we finished very strong. I thought the second period of extra time, I thought our first pass and our controlling possession was very good. Of course, we scored a wonderful goal. Um, Actually, Alex does speak to Lines. He just before he said, "Stick it in that near post area." And even though he's a little man, what a powerful header! Goes and makes it his own. Um, but yeah, it was a tough old game. There wasn't a lot between the two the two sides. Real blood and thunder. As I said, a proper FA Cup tie, really. And um, I can't pay enough credit first to Hartley Whitney, but also to my players, because you need resilience. Spoke about it all season. You need resilience. We're not going to be able to play free flow football because they make it so difficult for you. Um, but it was about winning, I did say to the boys before the game. The biggest thing when you come away, don't be disappointed, make sure we win. Hooker by crook and it doesn't matter, we've won the game. Was it, you said down to them that you couldn't play that free-flowing football because they pressed you so quickly in midfield particularly. It was very hard to sort of complete strings of passes that you have done earlier in league games this season. Yeah, and the pitch was quite difficult. It's not, there's no disrespect. Um, as I said, lovely club here, really, really good club. Um, but you have to play to the strengths and because they throw so many numbers forward, the areas are outside their, their centre-backs. It was on all night and what we couldn't quite get going on Saturday, we did it times today, we got down the sides of quality, so just sticking it in the grass. And then retaining possession when you're in there, that's when we wanted to retain the possession. And then our slide balls weren't quite good enough. Their keeper had an outstanding game, I've got to say as well, pulled off some wonderful saves. But then we've had to rely on Joe to pull off some saves early in the game as well. So 1v1s, he was brilliant, spread himself, a double save early on in the game. But yeah, in the end, I thought, I thought we looked the fitter side um, and, and we deserved to go through. But it was such a, such a close game. There was really nothing between it. But I said to the boys, how often do you see teams that go on an FA Cup run and have to go through these experiences first and foremost? And then you'll go into different games. So our next one's at Twerton Park. It's against Seven Oaks. Not to take them lightly, but be on our pitch, a big pitch, and we'll be able to play our style we want to play. Said so defensively, you were, you were a bit concerned on Saturday. We only had one clean sheet uh, nearby in Hampshire. Actually, we kept another one there. I thought some of the blocks which they got in there, Kieran yeah. Parcel and Co, really stood up firm against, against a difficult side. Well, that was the most important thing because they got so many bodies in the 18-yard box. It's it's going to drop at some point to them, and it's how resolute we were. And like you say, we were we were strong in our defending. We squeezed our line when we had to squeeze our line, so we left no space. Um, in front of us where they could get shots away like they did on Saturday with the second goal, the equaliser. Full-backs are having to defend in 1v1s, of course, as well. And then the goalkeeper's got to be strong. So, yeah, I was really pleased with our defending. We went really narrow. We went to like a 4-2-3-1. Had no width out of possession. We came in because they, we knew they'd use that diamond again with a striker dropping in, making it really difficult for us. And they just go for it. I spoke to their manager. He said, every game we do, we go for it, which makes them a dangerous animal, makes them a dangerous beast. So you've got to stay in the game against them. You have to, you have to defend. But, um, yeah, a lot of character from our boys. The quality or the one bit of quality in the end has come from us because it's a great delivery from Chris Lines and, um, and Alex Fletcher, like I say, what a great finish. So, really pleased. This is a really good start, Mark, honestly. I said, if we'd got through this round, we're in the next round of the FA Cup, third qualifying round. We've played eight games, we've got 16 points, so it's a fantastic start to the season. We have to remember that. What we have to do now is check our bodies because... You know, Danny Greenstade's come off with a tight hamstring. Elliot Freer's got a hip problem, so he couldn't go on. That's why I'm doing it. People are saying, why not I made subs? I can't. Um, Scott Wilson's got a groin problem, couldn't put him on as well. So, yeah, we've got some issues in there. We've got some niggles. Um, so we're going to have to count the bodies and then see if we've got to strengthen it, bring some more in, because I think we're going to need them. We did say at some point the squad's going to be tested and challenged, and for Saturday it definitely is, because I want to go to Oxford and I want to try and get a result. Because of the two hours you played out there tonight, is it going to change the preparation on Thursday much? I'm speaking to the group about it. It's over to them. I'm, I'm very much, you know, on this group, I'm very much on leadership, player leadership. It's very important that I listen to them, listen to what their bodies are saying. Is it beneficial for someone to jump in a car and travel again another two hours up to training? I trust them impeccably. They look after themselves. It's shown that tonight because they finished so strong. It's a great group, this, Mark, honestly. It really is. You can see that from the attitude of the team since they turned up tonight. I didn't have to really say a lot tonight. Just little bits in the, in the extra time periods. Believe in yourself. Keep pushing. Don't sit back. We'll finish stronger. I knew that. I knew we were fit side. We won the fittest sides in the league. So I knew that would come. The GPS stats tell us that. Um, but we'll have to look at them Thursday, you're right. And then... And then, as I said, count the bodies and see what we got for, um, for a game plan on Saturday, a very tough game at Oxford. 
well done for eventually making it through tonight and we'll see you on Saturday which isn't too far away now of course yeah I'm looking forward to it cheers thanks Mark Bye.